Hi everybody, welcome down to Carter's Golf. Welcome to the Indoor Academy here at Jumeirah Golf Estates. It is a scorcher outside, 75% humidity, taking the temperature to 51 degrees, hence why I'm in here. And to be honest with you, I think we're gonna be in here for the foreseeable future until at least the weather starts to calm down. Also, you're gonna see me in dark clothes as well because it's warm, <laughs> it's very sweaty. Uh, today's video is all about posture. So it's a continuation of yesterday's video, which was about the grip. So if, you've in, if you enjoyed yesterday's video, thank you very much for coming back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. Lots of content coming from the studio. And a lot of the videos now, or all the videos now I should say, are related to golf lessons that I coach. So I did grip and posture because I just feel like they're the two most important golf areas of the setup in particular it's just so overlooked by everybody that plays. But for example, where the golf ball starts after being hit by an iron, 85% of the time is influenced by where the club face is pointing at impact. The key influence to where the club face is pointing at impact is not gonna be your feet alignment, it's not gonna be how far you swing, it's gonna be how you hold the golf club. It's gonna be the, the position you put the golf club relative to how you hold your grip. So the grip's a very important area. Also, flexibility in golf. The majority of us, me included, are not fit for golf. We don't train for golf. I don't go into the gym and work the flexibility in my, my quads, my hamstrings, my hip flexors, purely around the basis that I wanna get more flexible for golf. A lot of people do, majority of us don't, okay? So we need to make sure that we can maximize our potential with that being said, okay? And posture is a key one. Posture is one of the areas that is we get lazy, I do. If I go and play golf three or four days in a row, I'll get lazy with where, how I'm kind of stood. I'll start to relax. We all know that a relaxed position for the majority of us, especially those that work in an office, is that. That's relaxed, isn't it? That feels quite nice. But we need to be more like this for golf because we need the spine angle to be straight. We need the body to be able to rotate around the spine angle. We can't rotate around a curved spine. So one of the key, one of the key um, setup positions I see is this, where the hips are basically tucked underneath the lower spine. And as a result of that, you can't swing past here. And the majority of golfers will tell me that they're not very flexible and they can't swing past halfway. I can't swing past where halfway from that position. Not many golfers could. You could put Tiger Woods in, well, he's got a bad back anyway. You could put some of them, you could put Rory in that position. He'd struggle as well because we're not physically built to be able to do that. It's the same for golfers that get a bit rounded in the upper body. They can't physically get past there. Even if you turn your hips more, it just puts the club more around here. If we get the club around there, how are we going to create any power? It all comes down from the arms. The arms don't offer that much power in the swing. Personally, I feel like I hit the ball quite a long way. I haven't got any arms. So it's all about the resistance, the, the rotation, the flexibility, and the, the length of the swing arc. If we can make the swing arc longer, then we've got more time to generate speed. We've got natural time to generate speed. We can use all areas of the body. We can use the legs, the hips, the stomach, rib cage, shoulders, and then we can release it with the hands through impact. So we're creating lots of different avenues of, of, uh, of power. If we just kind of stand with a poor posture position, we've only really got the arm speed, which is no way near enough for, for how for majority of golfers and what they want to achieve. I feel like from this position, we can all kind of hit the ball quite straight. And that's what a lot of golfers will say, I want to hit the ball straight. And I'll also guarantee you that when you hit the ball straight, you then want to hit the ball further. You can't hit the ball further from a poor posture position. So a quick routine that you can go through either at home or down at your local driving range is just getting, just getting used to building the posture. So put the feet shoulder width apart, lock your knees out, stand up as straight and as tall as you possibly can. Pick something out on a wall or anything just that kind of, just maybe a couple of feet above head height. Keep looking at it. Put the shaft of the club across your hips. Push your hips back so your upper body starts to lean forward, but keep looking at the point you picked on the wall. Why? Because if you don't, you end up in that position. We want to, re we want to keep that straight back. Okay, you're going to start to feel it here on the hamstrings a little bit as you start to get to the, into the position. And we had a little bit of knee flex. Now the arms are going to hang just from the shoulders and maybe a couple of inches further away from your shoulders. But we've got space, 
we've got a good back position, we've got a good relationship between lower body and upper body, but we're also now in a position where we can physically start to rotate. The golf swing now becomes wider, longer, more, much more powerful than somebody that stands like this. Now, like I say, golfers have different flexibility levels. So even with this posture position, you might still only get to there in your golf swing. But, look where the, but if I said to you now, look where the club is here, compared to a golfer that's poor posture and more in there, that swing has traveled further than that swing. Okay, so if the club is traveling further, we've got more, more time to deliver power. Also, if the club's traveling further, then it's naturally gonna be traveling higher. If it travels higher, we're more likely to be able to hit down on the ball. If we can compress the ball, hit down on the ball, our ball striking gets better and the ball goes further as well. Okay, so really, really important that we can build a good grip and a good posture. Build your grip first, okay? looking towards somewhere as close to neutral as possible. So we've got two knuckles on the left hand, probably one on the right hand, so maybe just about seeing two. Line between index finger and thumbs point towards your chin. Stand up dead straight, pick something out a couple of, inch, a couple of feet above your head. Hips back, bend the knees, let the club just start to sit down. Don't you sit down, keep the, keep the body straight. And now we're physically physically able to rotate, swing a golf club to the best of our ability. Everyone's gonna be different, but if you can get those two key, key aspects correct, you'll be an all round better golfer, much more of a consistent golfer with a lot less manipulation. The less manipulation, the better the golfer, without a shadow of a doubt. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tip. If you're new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. Follow me on my social media platforms, Facebook. I do a lot of Instagram as well, so do go and follow me on there and Twitter. But for now, guys, thank you very much from a very warm Dubai. See you soon.